Uh, welcome in this session. In previous session, we learned the properties of pyridine and the frontline synthesis of pyridine. And in this session, we will learn uh, the synthesis of pyridine derivatives. I was expel explaining in the last session that pyri uh, pyridine is very foul spelling chemical and the chemists usually hesitate to work with pyridine because of this bad smell. Apart, of, apart from the bad smell, pyridine is also very hazardous for the health and especially for the men's. So, uh, in this session, I will explain mainly one of the frontline synthesis of pyridine derivative and that synthesis is known as hand synthesis. I will explain a little bit about hand synthesis. Hand synthesis is uh, one of the most important multi-component reaction that we encountered in the uh, organic chemistry for the synthesis of heterocyclic. Multi-component reactions are those reactions which involves the reaction of more than two components simultaneously at the same time leading to the formation of product. As you already aware that multi-component reaction are one of the uh, one of the tools in green chemistry to uh, to to reach the goal of atom economy because in multi component reaction uh, all the components react at the same time to form the product uh, usually we do not have any side product of, or side reactions so it is uh, difficult to find out a multi component reaction and uh, since hence reaction is very clean and nice reaction and it has a very wide range of substrate scopes Hans 14 dihydropyridine synthesis is one of the reaction which uh, me personally uh, when I started my work in laboratory as a chemist the first reaction which I performed in laboratory was the Hans reaction and uh, I was uh, very excited and I was very happy to see uh, this uh, typical reaction at very first time and this reaction was very clean and uh, uh, you, uh, I hope you will enjoy to learn the process of reaction and mechanism. So let us start for a synthesis of pyridine derivatives. This is HNPZSCH hand reaction. Usually the product of this reaction is 1,4 dihydro pyridine derivative and this pyridine derivative further oxidized to pyridine derivative. So, this is a multi-component reaction as I explained the components involved in this reaction is A beta diketo compound that is EAA. You are already aware about this uh, reactant, thiol acetoacetate. You have already learned in the chapter active methylene compounds. The other component for this reaction is the aldehyde. I have taken the benzaldehyde, we can take any other aldehyde like acetaldehyde or any other and we need a source of ammonia or ammonia. We can take ammonia or source of ammonia and uh, uh, when I did this reaction in laboratory first time I took the ammonium chloride and so uh, you can count two moles of ethyl acetoacetate, two, three and four. This is four component reaction. And after reaction, we don't, do not need any catalyst or uh, any other reagent because ammonia is sufficiently basic to initiate the reaction to form the product. C-O-O-P-T and CSP CSP. This is 1,4 dihydro because um, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. At 1 and 4 position, there is 
single bond, not double. So this is one four dihydropyruvic. derivative this can be further aromatized to have pdtn okay you can write this then I will explain the mechanism. Okay, we will start with the mechanism. As I explained to you that this is the example of multi-component reaction and for multi-component reaction usually the mechanism is difficult. So what I will do here, I will explain the mechanism step by step to make you understand in an easy way. So uh, in very beginning, one molecule of the thiol acetoacetic when it will react with ammonia O E T then NH two and O H O E T see this reacts with this ketone okay and here removal of water molecule one of the proton will remove from here and we will have imi functionality and this will be intermediate one. Remember, ammonia reacts with the beta diketo or ethyl acetoacetate to form the imi. This is the intermediate first. In another step, this other molecule of ethyl acetoacetate, because remember we have taken two moles of ethyl acetoacetate. Because we are taking the base, so base will generate an anion here. Because this is active methylene, this methylene is active proton. So base will attack the proton to generate a carbon anion here, and the We have a molecule of aldehyde, so this will react and after removal of water, we will have a second intermediate with this. This is intermediate 2. You have to understand both the reactions clearly that this base will generate an anion and this anion reacts with the aldehyde to form the intermediate 2 and ammonia reacts with ketone to form the intermediate first. Now this intermediate first and second will react to form the dihydropyridine derivatives. We will see how.
this is the intermediate 1 and this is the intermediate 2. So, how the re, uh, reaction will start? You see the movement of arrows. This is very important. We have to learn this. So, since this double bond has changed, so it will react and here we will have the double bond, here CH3, here ester, ok, then this here AR, then double bond and this minus charge CH3, COO, ET. You understand this? That this carbonyl, the, the pi electron of this carbonyl delocalized, you have a minus charge here. Now, then again, what will happen? This will return back here, and this. There is a proton and this pi bond will go back to nitrogen and this proton will be taken up by this double bond. Remember, minus H plus and plus H plus. The proton eliminating from here will be taken up by this carbon and we will have Ester here, ester here, this aromatic ring here, and now the reaction is simple. You see, this is primary amine, and this will react with this carbonyl. ET, C, O, O, ET. Aromatic. We have a proton here and this will lead to removal of water, H2O, and it will. Now we get 1, 4, 1, 4 dihydro pyridine. Okay? And now it will oxidize to form CH3. CH3, COO, ET, COO, ET, this is a periodic So, in this way, we end up with a periodic derivative, and this was all the mechanism of Hatch reaction. If you all have any question regarding the mechanism, you can post in the comment. So, in uh, this was for this session, and in next session, we will learn some more reactions of pyridine. Thank you very much.